Hi everyone, good afternoon or good day, well, how are you? And this is Nikki or Nikki Stott this, this day. Uh, just a quick one. This morning I was watching um, a news, you know, and something happened in the news that prompted my my video this 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 day. You know, and then this video especially is targeted to the younger people, especially marriageable age. Or if you're ready to choose a partner, you need to choose your partner consciously. See non drink killer. The choice of the person you marry, either a man or woman, can determine how far you go in life. Unless there is divine intervention from above. I do tell younger people when I was teaching, you know, youth and single in the church, I do tell them, I said, your personality you have now is not your final personality. Whoever you choose to marry in the future can bring the best out of you, can bring the worst out of you. We have seen some girls lucky or some boys lucky, you know, coming back from the past where the situation has brought them to um, where, they would, where they were living beforehand due to circumstances that they find themselves. Some, they are into prostitution because that's what they know how to do. That's the way they can look after themselves. I say some, I'm not saying all. I know that some decided that's the way they want to live. And they eventually settled down and married a partner that changed their lifestyle totally, you know, and they become a better person. And the best came out of them. And then you see some people another way around from a very good background and all sorts, married. And then the choice of the partner to choose made them change their personality to behave what they don't, what they don't even think they can behave, you know. So I do tell the younger people, I said, your personality now, oh, you're good, you're, 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 you're she listened, she's a child of God, she did, does not determine, you know, it's who you decide to settle with in the future will determine how far you're going to go, how your dream is going to be realized. Whoever you choose to marry can slow down your progress, slow down your dream, and all sort. But if you have God on your side, she could still make it if you don't lose up. So my advice or my thoughts or my view this morning to younger people, when you want to set you down, wedding is just for a day. Marriage is a lifestyle. Marriage is, a, is an only institution you get to with a sad wicked before you even enter into it to find out the cost models that you're going to face in the marriage. And because of that, there's so many factors that you have to put in place. You have to think thoroughly before getting involved in a relationship. First of all, you look at yourself, first of all, you know, I do always say, first of all, first of all, <laughs> that's a bad habit. First of all, you have to think to yourself, do you have a vision? What's your clear vision for future? Do you have a vision? Where do you want to get to? Your own vision, your own vision, yourself, your vision. Your vision, where you want to be, should make you to 
look into the person you want to marry. To think that could this be a person to be share the same vision? Can I realize my vision? You know, marry this person. But your vision, understanding your vision and defining your vision is not enough. You'll have to get to know that the person has vision as well. That the person you want to marry has its own vision or her own vision. You know, before you actually decide to marry the person, does the person have a vision? What's the vision? Is the vision realizable or not? You need to know. Building your stature, your age, doesn't determine maturity in a marriage. I've seen younger people. Actually, I watch so many vlogs of younger couple that I look at them and I said, I look at their age. I like, they get it right young. And I look at their age when I was at their age. I don't have that understanding that they have. What was I saying? Age does not really matter in, in marriage. We could be 20 and be matured enough to go into marriage. And you could be 40 and lack knowledge when it comes to marriage. When I talk about that, when I say that, maturity goes a long way. Are you matured enough to get into marriage? Are you knowledgeable enough in the area of marriage? Are you stabilized enough in the area of money to get into marriage? Do you have savings? before you came to marriage. What do you have to bring it to marriage? What do you have? Looks are not enough. Beauty will fade away. Because what you have inside will guarantee the success. Marriage is in two ways. You could go into marriage and manage for life and that's an imprisonment and you could get into marriage mm. and be blissful that's when you have enjoyment that's when the fulfill fulfillment comes that's when life comes but when you get into marriage for one reason my friends are getting into marriage and being forced into marriage my all this you know all my friends are gonna I'm just ready to get into whoever that is ready for me. Or if you if you if you if you lack knowledge before you get married, or you are ignorant about what marriage is all about, I advise you to not rush into marriage. Marriage is enjoyable with God on your side, with you being developed spiritually. And your partner is being developed spiritually. Would you be compatible with the blood of Jesus? Or compatible? Knowing who you are. The God is on your side. Knowing what you achieve in 10 years, what you want to be in 20 years, what you want to be in 30 years. Be in the same pace and make sure that all this thing is discussed beforehand. Don't be ignorant. Don't be nonchalant when you're talking about marriage. Many, I'll say minority, God has helped them so far in marriage. Some, Get through in marriage. Many are patching up in marriage. Majority are suffering in marriage. 
you need to think. You need to think. If you dream, and then you choose wrong, it will affect your dream. Believe me, honestly. I'm talking about both parties now. It could be woman, it could be man. It doesn't have to be one particular. You must be in the same page. You must be ready to go into marriage. You must understand what it takes to be in a marriage. They say in my heart age that marriage is a hope that it's when you get in there, you will find what is in the envelope in that letter you have in your hand. And it can match you, it can break you, it can make you, it can bold you or mold you. It depends on what you find out in that marriage. And anyone I want to test drive you before you get married, get into marriage. Mm. That's my view. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. You have to get to know the motive inside of that your partner before you get into the marriage. Is he looking for something in particular? Is she looking for something in particular? If that thing the person is looking for in particular is not there anymore, are you still staying in, in, in love together? Or is going to go above all? Does this person you want to choose have the fear of God? Have the fear of God. How does it seize you, your status? Man, how do you see women? Do you see women as a fake second fiddle? Or you see women as your helpmates? A ladder that you have to climb. I'm going to hand this note here. I don't know how far this is true, but I had a story that was going around some time ago. One of Barack Obama and the wife stayed married together. And they were going one day, and eventually they jumped into the man that's. Um, Barack Obama's wife, the name just gone out of my head now, Michelle, wanted to marry in the past, was dated before. And then she told, this is what I had, I'm not sure how far this story is true. Just I know that she told Barack Obama. That was the man that I would have married. The man was not really anybody. And the man said, and Barack Obama said, thank God that you married me. Or else you would have been going like that. And Michelle said, no. She would have been where you are now if I had married him. But either way, Barack Obama and Michelle, they were team together because they listen. Barack Obama understand the role of Michelle in his life. The same thing, Michelle understand the role of both Barack Obama and the life. The team. I don't think Barack Obama said, you're a woman, you cannot tell me this, you're that, you cannot that, that, or, or the other way around, or the woman will say, 
No, 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 we cannot turn the gift. We work together. Michelle could have married the other man. I'll be still pouring out the favor. I serve as a favor in the life of the woman, man. And the man could not see it. And see it that Michelle is a second fiddle. And the man would have missed being the president of a nation. You have to make sure that the man you are getting involved with or the lady you are getting involved with, you are on the same page. That is a mutual respect for each other. Respect is reciprocal in a relationship. All these things, young people, look out to you so that you'll be one of those people that will say, I'm in a peaceful marriage. I'm not in a imprisonment in my marriage. Or I'm not managing marriage. On the case of good day and have a nice day. I'm still going to continue on this talk. Or it dropped into my spirit, into me. And I said, let me quickly pour it out. Until we talk again. Bye for now.